Hey, I'm Jeff Komar. I'm an application specialist with Avid. So the fourth or final custom fader mode we're going to explore is custom faders plugins. Before we get there, we're still looking at our VCAs. I'm going to spill my VFX so that I can see all of my effects returns. And I'd like to go and I'd actually like to access my guitar verb. So to do so, again, I'm going to make sure I'm in focus mode and I'm going to select guitar verb. Press the custom fader mode button for plugin. We've accessed the revive on our guitar effects return. And we have basically the, all of the parameters spilled on the encoder. So I've got time, I've got pre delay, size, spread. I can get to any one of those parameters right up on the encoders. A plugin like Revive has a ton of different parameters, but oftentimes there's five or six key elements that you need to control within that plugin. So to do that, we can actually create a custom fader map. I'm going to go and press the map button from the custom fader controls. And now I can pick the important elements or parameters from Revive that I want accessible all the time. The first thing I'm going to do is press the select on the first channel strip of the custom fader view. Now I need to associate the parameter to drop down. In this case, I want pre-delay first, so I'm going to touch pre-delay. The second thing I'm going to do is do select on the second channel, and now I'm going to grab decay time. Let's grab size, early reflection levels, reverb level. We can even page through and find things on the next pages. Let's go grab spread. And then lastly, I want to get the high frequency cut. Okay, so I've got those key elements that I can now control from the faders. Now, another unique aspect of the desk is that I can go in and I can actually export this as a file. A lot of times there's multiple users working on one console, different guys like a different layout and different parameters for the same plugin. You can create a map file, save it with your name, and every plugin that you own is now associated with that plugin file. So it's a really great way to swap between different users on the same desk. If you hold down the plugin button from the custom fader controls for more than a second, you're going to get to a second page of functions like bypass, compare, safe, and even automation enabling parameters directly from Revive.